Welcome to Think Tech on Spectrum OC16, Hawaii's weekly newscast on things that matter to tech and to Hawaii. I'm Jay Fidel. And I'm R.B. Kelly. In our show this time, we'll take a look at some video clips and photos that we've accumulated in the course of our travels and productions. We call them clippings. After all, Think Tech does more than just talk shows. With cameras and smartphones, we often take clippings worthy of being considered separately. We accumulate lots of clippings, related or unrelated to our regular shows, and from time to time, we want to share them with you on Spectrum OC16. Join us today to look at some of the outtakes that might otherwise have been left on the cutting room floor. Some are longer and some are shorter. Some are videos and some are photos, but all are taken from the events, conversations, and vignettes we have attended and seen, and which we feel may have value in a separate sense for one reason or another. In today's show, we'll show you a bunch of clips we like including intakes and outtakes from our What's On Your Mind series, hosted by Tim Apicella, our Think Tech on Spectrum OC16 show, hosted by Arby and me, and various other sources, experiences, and delights we run into every day here at Think Tech. So if you were, um, you know, if you were in front of city council and you had the whole council in chamber and, and, and you were at the microphone and the podium, what would you say to city council, to the mayor's office, about maybe what can be done a little bit better here in our home, our community, about, you know, these unfortunate stories are starting to take place about crime in Waikiki and this whole area? You know, I would first just tell them that I'm, I'm grateful to live here. I, I love the culture. I love the aloha. I love the spirit of Hawaii. You know, there's certain, you know, when you get off the plane here, you, there's something in the air. Um, that, that's why that drives people here, you know. And... Uh, let's keep it that way. You know, I would say that there's nothing right now that's that's negative that they're doing. That like, maybe say that they're not doing enough or this or that. Or I know the solution. That's not it. Because I don't. Keeping people informed is the route to having them come back. You know, hey, we're gonna make it better. You know, just like if you leave a hotel, how was your stay? Hope you had a great time. You know, mahalo. Thank you for coming. You know, and then you you may want to come back. You know, I've been coming to Dukes here for more than 10 years. Uh, Right in front of Waikiki because this is this is the, this feels at home. It feels like a good place where I can I can sit here and have a, uh, a beverage and uh, and relax. So um, to them, I would say you know thank you for everything and uh, just just keep everyone informed. Well, if I was on the council and I heard that response, I'd uh, suggest you throw in your nomination for the next council position. My name is Lupe Stefani and South South Pacific Collection, and I've been doing this for almost 20 years. So this is stuff you made yourself. Yeah, basically design and make. Um, I use a lot of gemstones, semi-precious stones, seashells that are local, you know, and just a few things that are island connected, you know. Although we don't have products here, we bring it from all through the South Pacific. Fiji, Tonga, Samoa, you know, all the South Seas, Tahiti, Cook Island, Rapa Nui. I try to enhance more into the local flavor. You know, that's my line of business. Yeah. So who, who are your customers down here on Fort Street? I would say about 90% locals and then a few that filters in from the dock. On Tuesdays, we get a little bit of tourists that way, but basically all locals, word by mouth. Anything you want to tell our audience about pets and what, what do you think's out there? Pets are our family, so yeah, you have to, point. yeah, so you have to treat them with love. You have to give them all the attention that you would give a normal family member. So. That's why I'm here at the dog park. My wife, Michelle, hi. Uh, she's on a trip right now, so I am doggy daddy. You're doggy daddy, and you're actually the one giving the interview. You said normally it would have been her, right? Yeah, she's here more than I am, though. So. Uh. All right. Well, hey, I want to say thank you very much for appearing on What's On, What's on Your Mind Hawaii. All right. I'm Tim Apicella for Think Tech Hawaii. For What's On Your Mind Hawaii, aloha. Uh, Is there any good reason why you're not walking in the walk today? I gotta make the traffic control today. Ah, okay, priorities, eh? Yes. All right. Yes. Next year, next yes. year, right? Yes. Okay, we have this on camera. Yeah. No. <laughs> Getting tired? Oh, no, no, no. How about the sun? Is it beating down on you? No, it's good. Can I switch hats with you? Okay, HPD smile. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Are you going to be doing the walk also? Nah, no, no, we're just going to hang out here. <laughs> Next year, we'll be watching for you. I got to, I got to sit down with the Starbucks. Where's the closest Starbucks? Um, down that way on Kalakaua. Okay. But um, yeah, I can't. You just got to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, can you get a police car to take me there? 
can't do that. Yeah, just got to keep going. Yeah. I can't talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just no, I don't But I have another question, though. Is there any good reason I can't why... Do is it... keep going. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. But is there any good reason why you're not walking the walk today? I just have, we're, we're here posted, yeah, but I just have to keep, you just have to keep going. Okay. You guys have to keep can, going, can I yeah. Help you in some way? We all I can't answer your questions. I can't answer your questions, yeah. You just have okay, to keep going. no, no Q&A, all right. I still like you. Sir, there's a rumor that HPD is giving jaywalking tickets to all the walkers whose names are Jay. Laverne and HSTA originally reached out to me um, not, not because I'm an expert in houselessness, but because um, she and other people might know that I have relationships with people on the street. And that's really my, my only source of credibility or knowledge on any of this stuff, is that I've spent the last three years trying to build friendships and relationships with people um, in parks and on beaches, under bridges, sidewalks, um, all over this island. And I'm not the only one who, who does that, by the way. There's a group of volunteers that does that on a regular basis. And we're not service providers. We're not um, paid to do that. We're just trying to build relationships with people that are, that are houseless. So over the course of those three years, I, I've learned a few things um, that were surprising to me and might be useful for other people to know. But the most important thing I learned was that there's a lot of wisdom and knowledge if we talk to folks who are living the experience and hear from them about what is important. Going to public school is like not much kids care. There's kids who, who had came up to me knowing that I live in the village and they was like, oh, if you need anything, come ask and we'll help you out. And I took that very nicely. Those are nice. I came from going through being a straight F student. And when I first met Auntie Twinkle, she made me become a straight A student. I actually made honor roll. I never thought I could do it, but she, she made me believe the impossible. I was part of the like, people that lived in the houses until my Auntie Twinkle asked me to come and help her for her Christmas event that they threw in the village. Um, when I first got there, I was like really, didn't know what to expect. And then I started to start liking this place to the point where I asked Auntie to live with her. And I've been learning new things every day with her. She teaches me everything. And I like it there. It's like my new home. I got to see them from September all the way through the end of the school year. And so it was really great to see the enthusiasm at the start of the year, everybody with a brand new start, new backpack, um, excited about their classes. And um, I was, it was eye-opening for me because I also got to see the challenges as the year went by. You know, most of the kids that do live with me come from homes that um, some of them wasn't in their parents' plans in taking them to get better, yeah, so. Like right now it's summertime, so I do feed about almost 26 kids. But even me, as I was growing up, I was very hot hit. You know, I don't want that for these kids. I want them to have a better life. Um, I do have great expectations from them. I did have one that had, had graduated who was a summa cum laude, you know, and, and I always tell them, reach for your dreams. Students offer a chat of aloha, asking your permission to enter your presence, to be with you, to share their knowledge, to share their aloha.
Say hi. Hey. All right. Good. Welcome to Think Tech on LC 16. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the realities and verities of existence, the bliss of growth, the splendor of action, the glory of power. For yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow, a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day. When the walls come crashing down all round my feet, <coughs> you got my way, you'll know the beast. Yeah! <laughs> Say you want to me when I'm in to and tell me you'll know where it's been. It's a whole So you take SimCity and you update it for current technology yeah. and, and ways of gaming, mm -hmm. you know, approaches to gaming. And, and then, you know, you, you bring in all the candidates who are running for political office yeah. and you make them play together in teams yep. if they like. Uh -huh. And then the guy who wins the game gets to be the mayor. In a lot of ways, that's exactly what, what we're doing with it, um, except with the one caveat that a lot of people get to be mayor out of the process um, as far as how that is actually reflected in the real world processes there's a lot of ways we can talk about that i'm actually doing a phd in political science so i will be a lot of writings will be coming out about this and this is kind of in the realm of my phd work at uh We want to show you clippings like this when we can. We want to keep collecting them on the street and behind the scenes and share them with you from time to time so you can see what we've been doing. Perhaps you'll also likewise be motivated to share your clippings with us. You too may have a camera or smartphone and you too may have some clippings. It's one thing to leave them on your computer or in the cloud, but it's another thing to share them with us. If you think your clippings would be of broader interest, we'd love to see them and include them in our future shows. Let's be better observers together. Let's compare our views on what the world really looks like. Let's see if we can find greater truth through the photographer's eye. Let's share the things we see and exchange our work for the common good. Together, we can all learn new lessons about the reality and the creativity in our lives. 
Send us your clippings at shows at thinktechhawaii.com and check out the clippings page on our website for more about what we're looking for and how you can participate. And now let's check out our ThinkTech schedule of events going forward. ThinkTech broadcasts its talk shows live on the internet from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. You can see our shows live on thinktechhawaii.com, livestream.com, and facebook.com. Then we also broadcast our earlier shows all night long and on the weekends. And some people listen to them all night long and on the weekends. If you miss a show or if you want to replay or share any of our shows, they're all archived on demand on thinktechhawaii.com and YouTube. For our audio stream, go to thinktechhawaii.com slash audio. And we post all our shows as podcasts on iTunes. Visit thinktechhawaii.com for our weekly calendar and live stream and YouTube links. Or, better yet, sign up on our email list and get our daily email advisories. ThinkTech has a high-tech green screen studio at Pioneer Plaza. If you want to see it or be part of our live audience, or if you want to participate in our shows, contact shows at thinktechhawaii.com. If you want to pose a question or make a comment during a show, call 808-374-2014 and help us raise public awareness on ThinkTech. We are always looking for new shows. Here are some shows we've recently added to our talk show lineup. Pinoy Power, hosted by Emmy Ortega Anderson. It plays weekly on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. and covers culture, a study of Filipino news, events, and culture. It's bilingual in Ilocano and English. The Will of the People, hosted by Martha Randolph. It plays bi-weekly on Thursdays at 1 p.m. and covers politics, a study of politics and public and political opinion. Monday Morning Manau, hosted by Jay Fidel, with Tim Apicella and Arby Kelly. It plays bi-weekly on Mondays at 12 noon and covers community, comparing notes on the news. Taking Your Health Back, hosted by Wendy Lowe. It plays bi-weekly on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. and covers medicine, saving your health. All great, all worth watching, and of course, all worth learning from. Go ahead, give us a thumbs up on YouTube, or send us a tweet at ThinkTechHI. We'd like to know how you feel about the issues and events that affect our lives in these islands and in this country. We want to stay in touch with you, and we'd like you to stay in touch with us. Let's think together. And now, here's this week's ThinkTech commentary. Hi. Welcome to Seymour's World Commentary. Can you answer this question? What is true happiness? 
I've been thinking about this question a lot lately. What does it take to be a happy person? Obviously, the answer is going to be different for each person. Ask someone what would make them happy, and their answer is likely to be pretty vague. A good career or family, a strong relationship with my partner. These aren't real answers, more like generic cliches. I think we may be unwilling to face the question of what makes us truly happy. We're afraid that the answer will prove to be something out of our grasp. Maybe you need a million dollars to be happy and you only have $3.62. Maybe you need a better job than you're capable of holding, or a bigger house that you can afford, or a prettier wife or more handsome husband, or better behaved children. Maybe you need to be smarter, better looking, more outgoing, taller, healthier, more disciplined, thinner, someone else. I don't buy it. There are unhappy people in all walks of life. If it were brains, there wouldn't be unhappy smart people, and there are. If it were money, there wouldn't be unhappy rich people, and boy, are there. If it weren't looks, there wouldn't be unhappy beautiful people. Remember Marilyn Monroe? She wouldn't have taken her own life. So I think the answer has to be self-knowledge. Facing the question of what it will take to be happy head on. It's obviously not something external to us that makes us happy. We make our own happiness. But it's not as simple as just deciding, I want to be happy. We make our happiness by determining what it will take, according to our own individual taste and character, to be happy and chasing after those things and only those things. Maybe you need to be rich to be happy. That's the kind of person you are. Or maybe you just need to be comfortable to not have to worry. You can't know if you're not willing or not able to face yourself and figure out what real happiness means to you. The trick here is to move beyond empty platitudes and hollow stereotypes and really look at our own lives. That's where happiness starts to take root. I have an assignment for you. It's for you and me too. It's to figure all this out to sit down with a pad and paper and start writing out our answer to the question, what's it going to take to make me happy? But you have to be specific. What exactly do you want from life? How is each thing on your list supposed to help you create happiness in your life? Most important, are you sure these are your answers and not society's, not your friends, not your parents, not your family? It's so easy to internalize everyone else's talk about what makes people happy, but the proof's in the pudding. Are you happy? Sit down, write your list, and tuck it away somewhere safe. Then go out and do the things on those lists, and let me know how that works out for you. Let's see if we can't all figure this out for ourselves, okay? I'll do it too. Thank you for watching Seymour's World Commentary on Think Tech Hawaii. Please send me your comments. Aloha.
We'll be right back to wrap up this week's edition of ThinkTech. But first, we want to thank our underwriters. The Atherton Family Foundation, the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education, Collateral Analytics, the Cook Foundation, the Hawaii Council of Associations of Apartment Owners, Hawaii Energy, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology, Hawaiian Electric Companies, the High Tech Development Corporation, Galen Ho of BAE Systems, Integrated Security Technologies, Kamehameha Schools, Dwayne Carisu, Carol Mon Lee and the Friends of ThinkTech, MW Group Limited, the Scheidler Family Foundation, the Sidney Stern Memorial Trust, the Volo Foundation, Eureka J. Sugimura. Okay, Arby, that wraps up this week's edition of ThinkTech. Remember, you can watch ThinkTech on Spectrum OC16 several times every week. Can't get enough of it, just like Arby does. For additional times, check out OC16.tv. For lots more ThinkTech videos and for underwriting and sponsorship opportunities on ThinkTech, visit ThinkTechHawaii.com. Be a guest or a host a producer or an intern, and help us reach and have an impact on Hawaii. Thanks so much for being part of our Think Tech family and for supporting our open discussion of tech, energy diversification, and global awareness in Hawaii. And of course, the ongoing search for innovation wherever we can find it. You can watch this show throughout the week and tune in next Sunday evening for our next important weekly episode. I'm Jay Fidel. And I'm R.B. Kelly. Aloha, everyone. Mm -hmm.